What is good, Virgo Soul Travelers? New Moon and Spring Equinox, a star of blessings to you. As we start off our week, March 20th through the 23rd is going to be the Spring Equinox. The 21st is the New Moon. We are going to be looking at the Gilded Revier Lenormand deck to see what is the main energy coming out for you. We'll look at the card that comes out as well as the top and bottom. We'll also be getting into the holographic tarot as well as the vice versa tarot to clarify. Four of Wands energy and star energy. So definitely keep the feeling behind something that has happened recently in the home. Four of Wands is typically the 1111 card. Could have been a third party situation with that Three of Pentacles energy coming out. We are going to tap in and see what's going on. Do bear in mind that these are general readings, which may or may not resonate with you entirely. But if they do in any way or you receive any guidance that's helpful, thank you so much for hitting that like button below and leaving a comment letting me know how these are resonating with you. Watch these also for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And if you need a personal reading, do not hesitate to reach out at venusianways.org. And guys, we're going to get an advice card from the Moonology uh, Oracle cards today. I will read out of the book as well so that we can see exactly what that advice is for you. Hopefully that will help you in whatever is going on with you for this next week. And as always, we will get love messages at the end of our reading from the Lover's Oracle Cards. A great reason to subscribe and hit that bell notification. We will also answer one burning question that you may have at the end. So do stick around for all of the good stuff. What's going on for my beautiful Virgos out there? Show us and thank you so much, angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. Beautiful. All right, Virgo, what is going on out there? How's everybody doing? Hope those new moon energies are treating you well. Remember, there's always a three-day before, 72-hour before and after period that these uh, energies of the moon may be in effect. Kind of like a building up and then a, a waxing and waning period, if you will, right? All right, let's see what main energy is coming out for you at this time, Virgo. Show me the energy for Virgo, please. Ooh, Virgo, you got the lilies. So has something died here? <laughs> well, it looks like you got some jackpot. Maybe you're getting an inheritance or something. It's kind of like a bittersweet energy. So um, I don't know about you guys, but I love stargazer lilies. I think they're the most beautiful and they're so fragrant. But yes, yeah, somebody could have uh, died here. And you may be getting an inheritance as a result on top. Book of Secrets. So this may be something you're not even aware of with this Book of Secrets energy coming out here today. That talks about something um, that you learn of. Again, this looks like, again, that jackpot and inheritance energy. So we're going to look at our main energy first. I believe this is the Lily's card. And we're going to read what this has to say for us. The so number 30 energy and three. So this could have been, you know, again, just a policy or something like that that you may not have been aware of. Or somebody may have just left something to you that, uh, you know, just as a small token of their appreciation for you being a good person. So calm, peace, and serenity is what I preach. Your parents and elders show up under my symbol. I bring wisdom and experience. I signify a long-term relationship or ancestry. Contentment and satisfaction is my angle. The lily, from a pagan view, is a symbolic of uh, sexuality and passion, but also a purity. It can also symbolize motherhood. As a result, these calm looking flowers with their glass engraved background reflect a range of interpretations. That they are both 
growing and yet eternally captured in smooth glass without any of their essence shows the two sides of this card. We might suggest that they are a range of excitement, sexual, nurturing, or the absence of that excitement in chastity. As a card, these lilies make the cards about them pure, simple, or excite their nature. A combination such as lilies and bear might certainly indicate the power of another or a maternal figure in a situation depending on the question. So again, the lilies could be celebrating a death or a rebirth. In this case though, I do feel like with this Book of Secrets card 26, we are going to be learning about something that's going to end up being somewhat of an abundance to us in some way. A little bit of the book says, the book of knowledge, the book of secrets, what I house is educational and private. I may be your project or your research and sometimes your studies and journals. Watch out for cards around me because with the sun, you will see right through me. I am hidden, I am unknown, but occasional knowledge I might learn. All right, so again, I feel like you're going to be learning about some kind of inheritance that looks like that somebody could be leaving you. Let's see what this five energy is. Five is tree. So this would be the tree of life. I am here to stay and grow. I am the health of your body, mind, and soul. Look for the cards next to me to find out more about me. When negative cards are close, pack some tissues for your nose. This does not, well, like I said, it certainly could mean that something joyful has happened or something sad has happened, but in any case, it may cause you Tears, you know, you may learn of a secret pregnancy or someone may announce a pregnancy, something of that nature. Again, or I really feel the energy of you may learn <laughs> that you get a windfall of money. Seriously, you know, star energy. You might be sad because you learn of this person's death, perhaps, you know, but at the same time, it does feel like it gives you a good start, you know? At least that's what I'm picking up on, Virgo. Let's see what's going on here. Let me know if this is resonating at all with you. We have the tower energy. Wow. So something is definitely about to change here, all right? Something is being blocked. You're blocking someone or blocking something from coming to you is what this feels like at this time. Maybe this is coming from someone you blocked. You know, you've healed from this situation. This could be a past lover that has um, or is passing and has left you something. Could have caused, had a lot of conflicts with this person in the past. Uh, if you were romantically connected with this person, you know, you could have been put in competition. In the past, you know, you may have suffered quite a loss because of dealing with this person. They may have had a lot of secrets. Queen of Cups energy coming out here today. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. There's either love here or there's, this is the sign of the person that you could have been dealing with. Definitely a lot of burdens, it looks like, that you had with this person when you were dealing with them. And you just have to lay those burdens down. And now, perhaps you're back there, out there in the world again, but still cautious, perhaps. You know, I feel like maybe this person really burned you with the secrets that they had. Perhaps they withheld their love from you, you know, and you still hold love for this person. And it's kept you in this imbalanced state. So maybe this is a token from somebody 
for all that they've put you through is almost what it seems like. Maybe they want to uh, come clean with something and it may, what you learn, the truth that you may learn may cause a lot of, a lot of changes for sure. You know, definitely it seems like this is something you can't come back from, whatever it is. But it feels like you still love this person regardless. Maybe you're just happy that you finally at least got some answers or some closure on this situation, Virgo. Yeah, there were a lot of secrets in the past is what this feels like. But there's always going to be that remembrance. It's like this person still sees you as family, you know? It's like that'll never change is what it looks like. Eight of Wands in reverse. You definitely blocked yourself off from this person that you could have had a lot of love for. But ultimately, 11-11, you loved yourself more. You learned how to fill your own cup. You tapped into your own intuition, perhaps. Yeah, you got some justice of some sort. Maybe you uh, became more of a spiritual person and you learned how to tap into your intuition as a result of all of this. That's typically what these really difficult situations will do. You know, you had to heal and learn how to hold your boundaries right and who you know even if it pissed people off know how to hold your boundaries so that you don't end up getting hurt i feel like you've learned a lot and again with seeing that 11 11 and now the four of wands card here again again phoenix energy you have risen from something that was very tragic for you and and i really do feel like somebody is uh perhaps seeing how much pain that they caused you in the past. You went from having everything to nothing, it feels like, all at once. There was a lot of conflict because of these secrets that were being kept in the past. Somebody was definitely working against a relationship, you know? A committed relationship, but somebody wasn't being committed. They were working their magic, you know, acting single perhaps with that Knight of Wands energy behind it, not being committed. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, this definitely could have left you stuck. Maybe you still feel a bit stuck. And maybe this person, in a sense, maybe has a little bit of a heart, <laughs> is what this Queen of Cups energy is. But only for you, it seems. I saw Justice peeking out. Yeah, this person knows what they did to you. They left you out in the cold. You gave everything you could to this situation. And in the end, you're left asking why, you know? Empress in reverse. And you had to learn what caused all these burdens to begin with. And perhaps you did go into that healing journey and you came out the other side. You know, learning what was throwing you off of this balance, really going within, battling yourself, learning from those past lessons so that you didn't get caught up in it again, right? Dealing with people that you just end up having to leave in the end. But you're going to do what you need to do, is what I see. You know that all you deal with when it comes to this person is somebody who's manipulative, who lies. And this person really wants you to let your boundaries down around them, but you put an end to that, is what I see here. No more. You've seen the way this person is. They bring nothing but burdens, and you know that you need to heal from this. And maybe you're afraid that it's going to be hard for you to, or you have been, but you know that to be able to really have that life that you want, it really is going to take you taking a hard look at these people in these situations 
and still standing in your power in spite of all of it. And I feel like with that tree of life energy that you are healing on all levels. You're putting the work in that you need to. Hold on, guys. But it is hard. You know, a part of you wants to go back. A part of you does still feel, you know. Connected to this person. You know what I mean? It feels like being a baby. It feels like being in a place you've never been before. And this person could be messaging you quite a bit, trying to get you to stay as well. You know what I mean? Wishing upon a star energy. But is this person really ready to step up to the plate? Because for you, it's like this wholeness is really important. And if you continue to go in this direction, it's like going backwards. Because this person could be very immature. And Spirit's asking you to block out this energy if that's the case. Because if you're looking to have wholeness, you know, it's like, do you want to deal with the real thing? Or do you want to deal with, or do you want to just have the memory? You know, which is going to be more beautiful in the end? Because nothing lasts forever anyhow. But your soul is what you take with you. And this is what we want to ensure is whole when it comes to down to it. You know, that's the essence of all of us and the work for all of us is to come to this place of peacefulness, resolution. Know that the endings and the beginnings are cycles and, and these things that happen are allow us to be able to move into a new a new energy, you know, like the old and the new, like this death energy here. Are we ready to move into the new, put an end to the old, so that we really can live a life of true purpose, of true meaning, and not have to deal with people who have all kinds of secret and history, even though we may have history with them, we have a lot of secrets that we don't know about as well that we may be dealing with with these people. The energy coming out for you today is North Node. Step out of your comfort zone, all right? So whichever direction you've been going at this point, it feels like has been in the wrong direction, if you will. So the North Node is all about going towards our true purpose, where we're meant to go. And this person could have just simply had you going in the wrong direction by dealing with them. It's not going to feel comfortable, you know, just like we said with this guy in the fool in reverse. You know, you may feel like a child. You may not feel, you may feel like you want somebody to be there as you're going through this, kind of like that mommy-daddy energy, but this is not something that anybody can do with or for you. You have to do this alone, right? There is a strong feeling when you get this card that it is time to leave the past behind somehow because you are headed in the right direction. If you want to be happy and fulfilled, you need to get going towards doing the thing that scares you within reason. This card is about living your life purpose, which is possibly what you've asked about. It's urging you to dare to do something different with your life and your direction to take action. So are you willing to follow through and lead the life you incarnated to live? If so, you have finally found the courage to make the leap. There is a good chance you'll come to ask yourself, why did I wait so long? Your affirmation for this week is, I know I'm headed in the right direction. I know I'm headed in the right direction. I know I'm headed in the right direction. By the power of three, a perfect trinity. It is done, my dear Virgos. Yes, you are headed in the right direction. It just may not feel 
normal at this point. You know how it is when you're doing something new, whether it be a new workout routine or, you know, just switching up things from the way that you normally do them. It does feel a little bit uncomfortable at first, right? Let me know down below how this is resonating and do hit that like button. What's going on in love for my beautiful Virgos? Advice for love? I love this for sure with that tree, right? And all about your connection within yourself. So life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Yeah. Go towards your north node. You will be surprised where it leads. They say follow your bliss. Follow what truly brings you happiness where you don't feel concern and fear and any of those things that don't resonate with love, right? You also have an energy of forgiveness coming out and it says stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine, right? Time to leave those, that secret life behind and all of those secrets of the past behind as well. Forgive them and let them go. No, you can't forget about them, but you can forgive them and you can start planting the seeds of a wonderful new life. Okay, Virgo, would you like to get an answer to your question, my dear? Let's do it in three two, one. Which one on the floor? And the answer is no, my dears. That's a hard no. So follow the guidance that you feel drawn to and know that you are going in the right direction. It just may feel a little uncomfortable at first as you're stepping out of your comfort zone. But go towards your north node. It's where you're going to be happiest. It's where your paradise is, my dear. Don't forget to let me know below how this resonated. Hit that like button, subscribe, and bell notification. See you soon. Bye for now.